What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rose SD, and today we are ranking some video game companies. Now, I got bored. <laughs> I literally had no idea what I wanted to upload today. And yes, I say today. I'm literally recording this at 7 30 in the morning. So, uh, well, we got a couple of beautiful, amazing video game companies. Some of them are amazing, some of them are horrible for it as you should say but at the end of the day literally all these companies came up from nothing you know like they had to do something in order to be noticeable or in order for me to basically rank them you know i don't want to delay this any longer i got to get this video out so i'm so uh let's do it So first on the list, we have Deep Silver. Deep Silver is a company that created a variety of games. Like, sheesh, they created games like Dead by Daylight, Stalker, Metro, even made Saints Row. Overall, this video game company has did a variety of things. So for right now, I'm going to give it an A. They literally like develop a variety of games, like even fucking Persona 5. Dog. Again, these companies are basically just video game studios. They are developers. They probably not are the creator of the games, but at least they had some involvement in it. But we gotta get to the next one. Sega. Oh man. What has Sega been doing? Like for real, what, what has Sega been doing? Only thing I could think of is Sonic and that uh, new Super Monkey Ball, whatever it's called. For this tier list, I want it to be like literally everything the company has pushed out, like every game that they made. For Sega, my God, bro. This might be biased because I love Sonic, dog. I love Sonic, like, bro. Bro, let me just show y'all how much y'all love Sonic, bro. Y'all see this shit? Y'all, y'all see, y'all, y'all see this? Oh God, y'all see this shit? Y'all, y'all see it? That's how much I love Sonic, bro. Overall, as like a company and video game studio, I feel like Sega has put in work back in the day, but they are literally like boomers in the industry. Like the current Sonic video games has been terrible, like, literally terrible. It's been trash, but hopefully the new Sonic game will be like decent, decent enough to be up there with like, you know, Sonic Adventures, Sonic Colors and all that good stuff. I feel like Sega, Sega, they had a bag and they dropped it up. So for that, I'm going to give Sega a C. Now, Valve. Oh my God, Valve. Valve, I miss you. What have y'all been doing? I miss you. Valve has a W resume in like the video game industry, dog. They make so many W games, so many beautiful games at that. Like, Let's go, motherfucking Half Life, dog. These boys made Half Life, Left 4 Dead, fuck it, the Portal series, bro. Really W developers, bro. Really W company. But it's so hard to like decide where they should be. I think for Valve, I'm going to give it an A as well, mostly because of these W games that they have. But I want to give it an S. But Valve, what what are you doing? You need to release more heat. That's literally all I got to say. You need to release more heat, dog. 2K games. Oh, man. Where should I begin? 2K, they have been in the industry as, like, the sports genre mostly. Like, you know, got NBA 2K, uh, WWE, stuff like that. And they even made uh, the Borderlands series. But at the end of the day, what is 2K really good for? Don't get me wrong. 2K is a really good company. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just the fact that, like... For one, I'm not playing sports games, you know. Then again, the new 2K22 look kind of fire, so I might hop on that. So, and also, I play the Borderlands games, and for me, Borderlands is a one and done type of video game. It's fun when you play it, but once you beat it, like, do you really want to go back to it? Some of y'all might say yes, but for me, that's gotta be a big no for me, Doug. So for 2K games, I would have put it at C. Epic games epic games they are out here they are underrated like y'all just don't know y'all be hating on fortnite and shit like that but bruh fortnite was literally the talk of the world for like two or three years fortnite was out there dog they was out there <laughs> i don't know why i'm doing this 
out there. But Epic Games as a whole, Epic Games as a company, they have it in their bag, bro. They literally inspired more companies to be like them. That's how powerful Epic Games is, bro. That's how powerful Epic Games is. And for that, I gotta give Epic Games an A. And like, I know the shit that they have been through with the whole sewing, um, Apple and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, Epic Games is underrated. Y'all should really appreciate Epic Games more. All right, next one, Blizzard Entertainment. Big D. Pause. My boys. The fuck is wrong with y'all? The worst company, probably. Probably, possibly. If you want to talk on a video game perspective, what do Blizzard really have other than World of Warcraft and Overwatch? I see they got Diablo, okay. Starcraft, okay. But other than that, what are they really... Why should I place it above, like, 2K? That's number one. And number two, have y'all, have y'all seen the news lately? Blizzard is a low company, bro. And for that, I have to give it a, I have to, I should give it an F. I should give it a, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. And there we go. Literally, as I'm recording this, dog, the executive producer of Overwatch 2 just is leaving. They left. They said, I'm meddling her, though. Okay, dice. All they really have is Battlefield and uh, Star Wars. That was Battlefront, right? What really made dice special, in my opinion, was their uh, software, their, their uh, engine that they use for their Battlefield games. It's so beautiful, and the whole destruction and everything that can happen inside the game, like, bruh. But as like, a company as a whole, I don't know. I feel like I gotta place this as like the end of C because Dice, you're you're really good with what y'all do, but I need more out of y'all, dog. I feel like with that engine, creativity can go anywhere in the world, bro. So Dice, y'all y'all need to do something. I know y'all smart. Y'all y'all could think of something. Okay, CD Project Red. So CD Project Red is the company that made the Richer series, but it's also the company that made Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 isn't that bad of a game. Like they overhyped the game to the point where they wanted that game out like now. <laughs> and that's where they put up. Right, this game has been delayed three times. And just the whole fact that like that game has been delayed and it came out looking like that. Like bruh, it's inexcusable dog. But at the end of the day, Am I really going to like bash this company over one bad game? No, it's fucking Witcher, dog. And Cyberpunk wasn't even that bad of a game. It was just buggy and unplayable. And for that, I got to give it a B. Like, of course, you're going to have some bad games down the line. But overall, this company deserves a B. Like, that's all I can really say. Why does it have the PlayStation logo? Is it the PlayStation Studios? I'm going to assume it's PlayStation Studios. So PlayStation Studios have been in their bag, especially recently, dog. Like, bro, you can't hate. You, you cannot hate or deny a PlayStation Studios. It'll be an S. No matter how hard you can try, you literally can't, bro. Now, Arc Systems is a really good company like this company is amazing when it comes to fighting games bro fighters was really good like really really mwah, beautiful best dragon ball z game to ever come out and the whole guilty gear series is amazing as well but then again there's like a whole like it's levels to it when it comes to arc systems because not many people know about like their other games like under night and guilty gear stuff like that and i feel like dragon ball fighters was a game that like got people to know what Arc System Works is. I feel like I have to put Arc Systems at C. Okay, Bondi Namco Games. Bro, this company literally, <laughs> this is literally my childhood, bro. Now, Bondi has a lot of games, bro. A lot of games that I generally enjoy, regardless of whether people like them or not. Like, when I started getting into like anime, Bondi Namco was literally the first company that jump-started my career. <laughs> my whole anime career dog like literally i never knew what anime was until i played the bondi nimco game which is dragon ball um dragon ball z tech it 2 and for that i had to give this company a day dog 
I'm sorry. This is biased. This is my own opinion. I apologize. Man, I didn't want to be biased for Arc System, but I got to be biased for Bandai, bro. This company literally changed my life at Division. Okay. Along with Blizzard. <laughs> Hold up. It's kind of messed up, though, because at Division was in their bag, but then Blizzard decided to buy them. When I say at Division was in their bag, doing their own thing, just vibing and stuff. They was literally doing their own day vibing. But then, oh motherfucking Blizzard decided to buy their fucking co. I hate it here. I really blame Blizzard for Adivision's downfall. Like, if I was to do this tier list best on the um, standings of these companies, like currently, I would have put Adivision along with Blizzard. But for now, dog, I gotta give you the D, dog. I gotta give you the D. I really wanted to put them in A or B. But dog, it's a sad world we live in.